The universe is filled with billions of stars, and if you understand how stars work, you can easily find when a particular star was born. As the Big Bang says, the universe is 13.8 billion years old. We must accept that a star can never be older than this. But recently, scientists have found a mysterious star which is almost 14.5 billion years old. So, the question which comes to our mind is, either the Big Bang is wrong, or that mysterious star named Methuselah star is hiding a mystery. Join us today as we dive into the story and know more about this mysterious star claiming to be older than the universe and the secrets it holds about the universe's past. Methuselah, also known as the HD140283, was discovered in 2013 by an astronomer named Howard Bond. The name the Methuselah is inspired by a biblical figure who was known for his long life, which reflects the estimated age of the star. It is the oldest star known, which is about 200 light years away from the Earth, and is considered one of the most confusing stars ever. How did the Methuselah star gain so much attention, and what led to a controversy? What makes astronomers so interested in the star's age? This is all because of the early age estimations of the star that was predicted to be older than the universe, and that too before the Big Bang. What is this theory? Big Bang is actually the evolution of the universe, and the theory describes that the universe began as an extremely hot point known as the singularity. With the expansion of this singularity, the universe came into being, and by universe, we mean each and everything present in it. The formation of matter, the stars, atoms, galaxies, and so on. Let's get back to the point. Do you know how old the universe is? No? It is estimated to be approximately 13.8 billion years. So the initial age of the Methuselah star was estimated to be more than this. Any guesses on what exactly the age predicted for Methuselah was initially? It is said that the star was possibly around 14 to 16 billion years old. But how do scientists predict the star's age? Let's have a look. The first fact used to determine the star's age is its physical property. All stars follow a specific pattern during their lives. A protostar first fuses to a proper star when hydrogen enters its core. It then enters its second phase as a stable star and remains one for billions of years. It maintains a similar look for years and doesn't change much, just like a middle-aged person who remains similar for years until he reaches his older age. Similarly, a star remains the same throughout before reaching its final stage, becoming a red giant. Methuselah star was said to be in its final stage, which confirms that it is surely billions of years old. Methuselah star is believed to be a population 2 star, which is another piece of information that is used to estimate the age of Methuselah star. Wait, do you know what population 2 stars are? These stars have fewer elements than those of the population 1 category. Our sun is an example of the population 1 category, and Methuselah has an iron content that is 0.4% of the sun's, which suggests that the star is very old. Metallicity is another factor used to determine the star's age. So, what actually is the metallicity? The first stars contain only hydrogen and helium, but no metals. They end their lives as explosions, and the remains of these stars form new stars. The new stars produced are low metallics compared to the next set of stars that will be produced. So the next generation of stars would definitely be high in metallicity than the previous ones. Make sense? Based on this concept, stars with high metallicity are said to be younger, while the ones with low metallicity are the older stars. Methuselah, being a low metallic star, has been estimated to be formed earlier. Isn't it an amazing concept? If we say the Methuselah star is older than the universe, that means it existed even before the Big Bang, which is the origin of the universe, or we can say this is the starting point of the universe. If everything happened after this event, how come the stars were present before that? Where is the problem? Did we get the ages of the stars wrong? Was there any sort of error in the stars' estimation? 
Nobody knows where the astronomers went wrong, but let's have a look at what happened next. Is the mystery already resolved? Soon after this discrepancy, scientists were all ready to discover the exact age of the Methuselah star and to resolve this conflict. They carried out several types of research to get more accurate data, and as a result, their research has refined the age of the Methuselah star. A study by Anna Freeble provided a revised age, which is now estimated at 14.3 billion years from 16 billion. Isn't it a great improvement? Is this new estimated age of the Methuselah star close enough to that of the universe? Moreover, some advanced instruments have also been used for precise measurements, which provide more accurate data. Another interesting observation regarding the Methuselah star is that it has a higher oxygen to iron ratio, through which scientists concluded that the star is not 2 billion years older than the universe. But what is the link between the oxygen to iron ratio and the star's age? If a star has a higher oxygen to iron ratio, this means that the star has low metallicity, which indicates that the star was formed when the universe had fewer heavy elements and was richer in lighter elements like oxygen. Therefore, the Methuselah star is believed to have formed in the early universe, or we can say during the initial years after the Big Bang. So what went wrong with the initial estimates of the star's age? Nobody knows what happened in the star's past. Still, the earlier discrepancy could possibly be because of several factors, such as the measurement error, or maybe scientists have some sort of misunderstanding. Accurate measurement of a star based on its properties, temperature, and other factors is definitely challenging. Therefore, initial readings and observations might have errors, which are now resolved with continuous research. So, the new estimated age of the star aligns with the age of the universe, which proves that the initial findings were incorrect and that it was formed after the Big Bang. But wait, even though the star was born after the Big Bang, it seems very old. Maybe it was the very first star to be born in the universe, which dates back to the time before the Milky Way was even formed. Now that the confusion about Methuselah's star is resolved, what should we expect about the star that is that old? Is the star dying? The star is turning into a subgiant with the hydrogen running out. As the star is expanding, it has become twice the sun's diameter, which will continue to expand even more. It will then start losing its mass and will eventually shrink. But that would not happen overnight, it would take years before the star would finally die. Was the Methuselah the only star which is that old in the universe? It seems there are more of them like it, but it is only the Methuselah star that has gained so much attention due to the initial discrepancies about its estimated age. And that's a wrap. What we have seen is how science redefines its understanding of the universe. Do you agree? That's it for today. We'll be back with more such videos soon. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you won't miss out our future videos. Thank you for watching and see you soon.